Welcome, welcome to Shadow Me Tarot. We've got the Divine Feminine Oracle uh, by Megan Watterson. Um, and um, yeah, I'm looking forward to opening this deck and learning more about, I don't know, I like the whole Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine thing. Balancing that within yourself kind of has helped me anyway, um, finding some inner peace. Um, so I've never seen anything from Megan Watterson. Um, what I saw online I did like, so I was like, oh, we've got to take a look at this. Um, it says it's a 53-card um, deck and guidebook for embodying love. The artwork is by Elizabeth Cheever Gessiman, and the, the author is Megan Watterson. And it says, this divine feminine oracle is an invitation to reclaim your power. It is a spiritual tool, tool to hone your intuition. Working with it can be a sacred practice of remembering that you contain your own answers. You can drop into your heart, that cathedral of love inside you, and receive what is needed. In this exquisite oracle deck, scholar, speaker, and author, Megan Watterson has gathered together the saints, mystics, gurus, and goddesses from the world religions who represent both divine beings and the human woman and the human women who sought to embody them. Each of these sacred ladies, when called upon, can strengthen your capacity to hear your soul. From the unyielding love of Mary Magdalene to the transformational force of the goddess Kali, you will discover the expansive qualities of the divine feminine within you so that you can embody with ease and levity the love that you already are. Cool. Okay. So a nice box. It's, it's got the finger holes here so you can pull the box apart, which is always nice. Um, the cards fit exactly in the box. It usually makes it easier for me to store and also to use. And um, pretty thick book here. Really very thick book. Um, soul voice meditation, intention. Um, it gives you history on who the person is and uh, what your soul needs when, or the meaning of the card basically. Um, when your soul selects her card is what it says. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So it gives you a definition of the person, who they are, and um, what the meaning of the card is, and then an affirmation or a soul voice meditation and intention. Very, very cool. Let's see if we've got any spreads in the front. I see introduction, right eye, invocation, intention, right into the stiff. <clears throat> All right, let's see what we got at the back. Ah, oh. okay, so that's a little disappointing. There is no spreads in this divine feminine um, deck. So this is just a straight oracle deck. All right, so let's take a look at these cards, yeah? Um, let's get that off. And we have, okay, so yeah, we need to check cardstock here. Um, cardstock is good. It's not too thick. They're slippery. They're not, I think they'll be all right. shuffle them at the end. Alright, so we've got Mary Magdalene here. The Apostle to the Apostles. Oopsies. Let's go for it. In. I am the bridge between heaven and earth. I am fully human and fully divine. There she is. Perfect. Alright. That's the back side of the card. Mary of Nazareth. Mother of God, I am blessed. My courage gives birth to the divine. All right, you tell me. I'm like, I don't know. Back of that card looks feminine. Joan of Arc, the warrior of light. I have a steel like faith in myself. The angels armor me with conviction. Rita of Cassia, 
the patroness of impossible causes. I'm miraculous. My prayers create powerful channels of possibility. Marguerite Porit. The mystic of divine love. Love is divine, and I am nothing except love. Perpetua. The saint of authenticity. I am my authentic self in all circumstances. The Black Madonna, Our Lady of the Hermits, I transform pain and suffering into a great, greater capacity to love. Our Lady of Guadalupe, the Empress of Protection, I am safe and divinely protected. I am held in love at all times. Teresa of Avila, Our Lady of the Interior Life, I trust the answers I find within me. I know that the presence of love is real. Pope Joan, the Pontiff of Possibilities. The possibilities are limitless because the soul is limitless. Mm. Thecla, the prophetess of true power. I call my power back from all times and all places. I am my own. Catherine Labour, the patroness of miraculous healing. I am ready to heal. I am worthy of the miracles meant for me. Rabbiye, the queen of saintly women, I am in service of divine love. I move the way love asks me to move. Uh, Khadija, the mother of believers, I am spiritually and financially abundant. I provide heaven and earth for myself. Fatima, the mother of imams, Love is my lineage, and gratitude is my religion. Kali, the mother of the universe, I release all that doesn't serve me. It is time to be the truth of who I am. And we'll go ahead and read Kali, because we should at least read one. And... Okay, so the book is not organized um, alphabetically, so you have to look it up in the table of contents to find out which page everything is on. To be honest, I was excited to open this deck and now I'm like not impressed. Just saying. I'm like, I don't know. It just isn't resonating for me. If this resonates for you though, like if the deck itself is resonating for you, let me know what resonates for you. Tell me what you like about the, about the deck. Um, this one says, because I looked up in the book Kali, cause at least it's an interesting character. Um, and it says the mother of the universe. I release all that doesn't serve me. It is time to be the truth of who I am. Kali embodies the ultimate wake up call to get us aligned as soon as possible with what we have come here to do. The Hindu God or the Hindu goddess is the most fierce form of the dark divine feminine. She is that which brings all things to life or to an end. Her name comes from the Sanskrit word meaning the fullness of time. Kali is first mentioned in the 6th century Deva Mahatma, uh, Mahatmayam when the goddess Durga is threatened by two demons. Kali emerges from the rage furrowed in Durga's forehead and slays all the demons with ease. This is why she is often pictured holding the severed heads of a demon or the severed head of a demon, which represents the ego or false beliefs and illusions. She appears wrathful, and yet she is considered to be the most loving. She is like a mother, desperate to grab her beloved child from, the, from out of harm's way, willing to yank them from the path that they were on in order to bestow freedom. Her iconography often depicts her as standing in the naked body of the Hindu god Shiva. He is her co consort, and together they represent the power available to us when we've honored both the masculine and the feminine within us. And Kali is the feminine that is called on when the masculine has gone out of balance within us and in the world. She is the divine protectress and the mother of the universe because she can cut through illusion and grant us the reality our soul came to manifest. When your soul selects her card, Kali is a subtle is as subtle as a sledgehammer. She shows up to strip us of what no longer serves us. And that sounds good in theory, but in practice it can feel as if the ground beneath us has turned to sand and all those illusions about ourselves, especially what we think, 
uh, we're capable of suddenly dissolve beneath us. When Kali sweeps in, we can easily slip into feeling like a victim. It can feel as though events are happening to us rather than for us. Kali doesn't want us to waste another precious second being someone we are not. She doesn't want us to be with a partner who doesn't treat us with the respect and love we need to do the light work we've come here to do. Kali wants to sever the ties of our ego sever the ties our ego has made out of fear or out of false belief that we don't deserve better or more. She wants to get terrifyingly real. She wants us to reckon with the fact that we are not here to please others or to make them proud. We are here to listen to the singular call of our own soul. Kali is the heart, the harbinger of having entered Kairos soul time and stripping the ego to reveal the soul can feel raw and often heartbreaking, but ultimately Kali has come out of fierce love for the truth of who we really are. She is giving us the opportunity to choose again, to start over, and this time from a place of tremendous wisdom and strength, our, our vulnerability. She lets us begin again from the bare bones truth of who we are. Soul voice meditation, what is falling away from my life right now that no longer serves me intention. I release all that doesn't serve me and it's time to be the truth of who I am. All right. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I liked the definition of that card. Um, so we'll see how this deck goes. Um, Anandamayi Ma, the joy permeated mother. I am my own guru. I know the self that never changes. Lakshmi, Lakshmi, the goddess of abundance. I choose to feel abundant. Wealth is an inside job. Parvati, the goddess of devotion. I am a love that doesn't leave. When I commit to love, my soul evolves. Saraswati, the goddess of self-knowledge. The essence of who I am flows effortlessly into everything I create. Mirabai, the saint of true freedom. Love is what sets me free. I am married to my own soul. Lalita, the red goddess. Playfulness is a spiritual power. Laughter leads me back to the light. Sarada Devi, the divine mother. Unconditional love exists within me. The presence of love is the absence of judgment. Akilanda, the goddess of Never not broken. Everything happens for my liberation. I choose to become only more love. Lala, the saint of spoken words. Every word I say becomes a prayer. I am the author of my own story. Kuan Yin, the goddess of compassion. I recognize suffering in order to release it. Curiosity breeds compassion. Myoshan, the princess of mercy. Giving is receiving. The energy of the universe is merciful. Green Tara, the Buddha of enlightened action. My soul informs my every step. I do what my heart compels me to do. Vajre Ojini, the essence of all Buddhas. I have the power to to make each moment sacred. Everything is material for my liberation. Geshi So Jiao, Lady of the Lotus, born. Embodiment is the deepest bliss. My body was made for enlightenment. Machig Labdron, the diamond hearted Dakini. I see the light in my own darkness. I face my ego beliefs to feel free. The Kini, the enlightened feminine, my gut instinct is wise beyond reason. I trust my intuition to guide me. Uh, May uh, Bago, the warrior saint, I am a warrior of love. My devotion attracts resources and support. Shekina, she just reminded me of Shira, Shira from like He-Man, you know, like the cartoon. If you were like, I don't know, a kid in the 80s. 
Um, but this is Shekinah, the princess of the divine feminine. At the center of everything, there is light, and I am that light. She just totally reminded me of She-Ra. Just saying. All right, we got Lilith, the first woman. I am the voice of my body and soul. I choose the life that I desire to live. Queen Esther, the morning star. My ego is in service of my soul, and I trust my soul's divine timing. Amaterasu, uh, the goddess of light. We are all sacred mirrors reflecting back the same light. White buffalo calf woman, the prophetess of the sacred way. My heart is a compass. The path of love is true abundance. Zu, uh, uh, Zhuan Jing, Zhu Zhuan Jing, the mystic of peace. I am peace. When my mind is clear, the way is clear. Bridget, the goddess of the eternal flame. I am an eternal flame, and each day my light grows brighter. Saint Bridget, Our Lady of Exalted Light, I give endlessly because the light is without end. My soul is all I need. Isis, the goddess of magic, sexual energy is sacred. My pleasure is a prayer that brings me back to life. Sekhmet, the Red Lady, I am pure strength. I honor my anger by giving voice to it. Hestia, the goddess of sanctuary. No matter where I am, I am home. The most sacred sanctuary is found within me. Sappho, the poetess. I love every inch of my body, and I love the woman in my life, and I love the women in my life fiercely. Adriadne, mistress of the labyrinth. My soul knows the way, and only way, and the only way out is through. Diana, queen of the wilderness, the language of the natural world is frequency of love. This is my mother tongue. Yamoja, the goddess of all that flows, I am an ocean of creative energy. I give birth to what exists within me. Freya, the goddess of discernment, I spend my time wisely. I only say yes when it's a holy hell yes. Inanna, the queen of heaven and earth, I have nothing to hide. I see and accept all that I am. And Heduana, the high priestess, I am one with my soul, and my soul is a legacy of love. Sarah Lakali, queen of the outsiders, I have arrived. I am where I will always be in love. The cosmic egg, the divine feminine, I hold the universe within me. I am the force of ever-expanding love. And that is the last card of the deck. Let me zoom out a little bit. Oh, of course you're going to see my PJ pants. There we go. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and shuffle these up a bit. Let's see how difficult they are to shuffle. I can try and shuffle them this way. My hands are kind of small, so sometimes with the oracle cards, this is really hard on me, which is why I kind of side shuffle more. Um, but these aren't bad. Um, I'll tell you now, they're not bad at all. Um, side shuffling for this guy could be the lazy way, for sure. These are very easy to shuffle. I usually shuffle like seven times. seven times. Oftentimes I lose count and then it might get a couple of extra for good measure. I think 
that shuffling sound is just so pleasurable. All right, let's see what we got here. Well, there we go. Sarah Lacali, Queen of the Outsiders. I have arrived. I am where I will always be. I uh, in love. And we'll have to look her up. Okay, Queen of the Outsiders. I have arrived. I am where I will always be in love. Sarah. Sarah La Kali is the symbol of the love that endures, the love that never dies. There are three main legends that surround Saint Sarah. First, she is known as a charitable, noble woman who collected alms for the poor in Saintess Maria de la Mer in the south of France at the beginning of the first century. She had a vision that the female saints who were present at Jesus' death would arrive on their shores, and when they did around the year 42... Saint Sarah was the first to lovingly welcome them with open arms. The golden legend from the 13th century says that Saint Sarah arrived with the three Marys, Mary Magdalene, Mother Mary, and Mary of Bethany, as one of their slaves. She was said to be an Egyptian, very beautiful, and endowed with healing powers. The third legend is that Sar Saint Sarah is the daughter of Mary Magdalene and Jesus Christ. During the persecution of the early Christians, it is believed that Mary Magdalene fled with young Sarah, Jesus' mother, and Mary of Bethany to south of France. There she raised Sarah and continued her ministry of love, of becoming what Christ referred to as true human beings, meaning both fully human and fully divine. Saint Sarah is known as the Queen of the Outsiders. She is the beloved patron saint of the Roma Romani people. She is uh, she is carried from her crypt in the cathedral to the sea on horseback every May 24th by thousands of Romani who gather annually to celebrate her. There is an ancient chest in St. Sarah's Cathedral that contains the relics of the Three Marys. St. Sarah represents the spiritual tenets of all Cameric cross, faith and hope, but above all, love. When your soul selects her card, no matter who you are or where you are, St. Sarah's love is the kind that reaches you. There's nothing you need to perfect or prove. There's nothing you need to wait to become. There, There's only the deep abiding truth that love is not outside of you. You are never an outsider to love. You are love. St. Sarah is the ultimate love card. The one that whisper, whispers what you've always known. That love is our true purpose and our only true home. Love is where we will arrive. No matter how persecuted, how lonely, how outcast we might feel, no matter how long it has been since we felt loved, St. Sarah is the healing that comes when we embody love again. She is here to welcome us back to the singular destination we actually never left. Home is only ever as far as we allow ourselves to be, separate from the space of our own heart. The soul meditation, enter the heart, ask to experience love, true love, and let it fill you head to soul. I have arrived. I am where I will always be in love. If you liked this deck, um, let me know how it resonated for you in the comments. Um, even if you give me a thumbs up in the comments, that also helps me grow the channel. So um, if you wouldn't mind pressing that little bell button or that subscribe button or like and subscribe and share, whatever you can do um, helps me keep the channel going. going. Um, thank you so much for watching and have a beautiful, blessed day.